So I've got a friend who was kind enough to send me this video. Now I thought it was just a little bit too cool to keep to myself, so I thought I'd share it with you guys out there. And once again, many thanks to the very great Mr. Bas Rutten. Hey there, students of Kabuki Fox Kung Fu. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but it's martial arts, and I guess that's why I did that, right? <laughs> In Chinese, would say, Ni hao, that means, how are you doing? How is everything going? And that's where Kung Fu is coming from. Now, let's talk about how to get the most out of your Kung Fu, or any martial arts, or anything for that matter, because all these things that I'm gonna say, well, they apply to everything in life. That's the easiest thing. Habits. Most important, creating good habits. If you have a bad habit, you're gonna to have to make that bad habit into a good habit. For instance, I do these talks for these 500, 600 kids every year. Like uh, in two weeks, it's gonna come up again. I'm gonna to have to go to a high school and I talk to these kids because they're gonna to go to the university or they go to work, right? One of the two things they are going to do. And what do you tell these guys to prepare themselves? Well, everything is about habits. I say the same thing. And then I ask them by show of hands, who woke up this morning from the alarm button, hit the snooze button, 10 minutes later, hit the snooze button, 10 minutes later, hit the snooze button, and I did it like five, six times in a row. And you won't believe about 90% of the hands will go up at that moment. Every single year, pretty much everybody is doing that. That's a bad habit, guys. It's a very easy thing to change that bad habit into a good habit. Tonight, before you go to sleep, you tell yourself, hey, listen, uh, tomorrow when I hit the alarm clock, I'm sitting up in bed, I'm walking out. You tell yourself you're going to do that, and then you actually stick to that plan. You're going to uh, you're going to stand up and walk out of bed right away. The great thing that comes with this one is that normally that's 50 minutes. If you do it five times, five times 10 minutes is 50 minutes, right? That last 50 minutes of sleep is really bad if you hit the snooze button all the time. Now, once you create a good habit, because if you do this, getting up immediately, and you do this for like a week straight, now you create it into a good habit. You made it into a good habit. Now those 50 minutes count way much more for your body because now you can put the alarm 50 minutes later you hit the alarm you go up boom you slept solid for that hour much better than five times ten minutes now if you can do that with simply getting up and hitting an alarm snooze button you can do this with everything in life now um, training if you're right-handed, yes, the left is weaker, right? So that means you're gonna to have to train it more often. What I used to do, when I did uh, my karate, taekwondo, all that kind of stuff, I would train my left three times more than I trained my right. I did this with everything. Everything that you do not like to do, you're gonna to have to do. And I know it's really annoying because officially you don't wanna do it because people always stick to what they love to do. You know, but if you do that, then life, well, if something comes your way that you can't handle it anymore because you're simply not prepared for it. So do everything that you don't like to do. I don't like to train my left hand, don't try to train my left knee or my left leg. Well, guess what? Start training it three times more than your right. Now with me in the end, I would say my left hook and my left straight, they're pretty much, I believe they're harder than my right. So I created, I became, uh, I became good in right and in left. And that's gonna help you a lot, of course, in martial arts, because then you start picking up faster. Another great thing is that once you um, start doing it, you become better at it and better at it. And once you, once you become better at it, you start loving to do it. Like for working out for me, uh, for instance, I was a mixed martial artist, as you probably know, and I didn't like the ground game. Somehow, I didn't like the ground game. I don't know why, and after my third loss by way of submission, I became very angry with myself, and I started asking everybody who wants to train with me, and I found one guy in Holland, and we taught ourselves, and we started training two, three times a day, only on the ground, because striking, nobody wanted to strike with me anyway. I didn't need to pay attention to that anymore. I did, of course, on the tie pads and the focus mitts to, for my stamina, and the heavy bag, but that was it. The rest, I only focused on the ground. And guess what? I never lost a fight anymore. I actually finished my career with more submission victories than knockouts. 14 submissions, 11 knockouts. So I made my weakness into my strongest point. And that's what I suggest to, for you guys to do it as well. Also, follow a passion. We talked about that already, right? I want to be an astronaut. That would be my passion. Guess what? My mind is not ready to be an astronaut. Am I stupid? No, I'm not stupid, but it's gonna cost a, a smart guy, a friend of mine, who, who can learn, what he can learn in one hour, it's gonna take me five hours. And I'm talking about, if your shuttle breaks down out of space, uh, you're gonna to have to 
get out, maybe. You have to open it up on the side and you're gonna have to fix that thing. So you need to be a mechanic over, <laughs> over a spaceship. That's quite crazy. That's just one little part. There's so much stuff. So it can be my passion, but it's not what I really love to do because mentally I can't study so long. I, do, I like to do it more physically. You see, so follow what you love to do because everything that you love to do, you wanna do that a lot. It's the same in school. If you look at your school right now, you know, all the, 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 the subjects that you excel at at school, I guarantee you, you love that subject. All the ones you suck at, I guarantee you, you don't like it. And if you don't like it, you don't want to pay attention to it. So flip it, flip it around, start focusing on that. But stamina, stamina is the most important thing in martial arts. There's nothing more important. Of course, technique and everything is important, but if you, if you are at a certain level, stamina is everything. If you have to fight, compete, well, the guy with the most stamina, if you're equally the same as your opponent, the, the, the person with the most stamina is going to win the fight. That's what I'm trying to say. So I hated stamina because I was an asthma patient as a kid. I have very severe asthma, but I taught myself to love it. I start every time I say, oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. I want to get really tired. And suddenly something somehow snapped in my head and I start really enjoying getting tired. And that brought me to a great career. And now I'm actually known for the guy who never runs out of gas, you know? So it's important to have a lot of stamina. Also with practice, because you know, when you get tired, you know, it doesn't function anymore. The brain and the body, that connection is a little bit gone. Well, if you're in shape, you can keep on learning. So normally when you would get out of shape in 30 minutes, well, if you can postpone that to an hour and a half, now you can one hour, you have one hour more that you can train and actually download in that brain so the mind-body connection comes together. So everything, make sure you have stamina. Another thing that I always used to do is a log. I log everything down. Whether it's power training, submissions, whatever I do, I always make logs and I where I'm at. If you find favorite uh, favorite combinations that you like, you know, where you, you your fellow students, you're, you're, you're sparring with your fellow students, and you, you connect with a, a certain combination, write that combination down. Because now you think you never forget that combination, guess what? Because a new combination comes, and another one comes, and another one comes, you're gonna forget that combination. So I have this whole book with written down things that I enjoyed to doing a lot. Write them down, because then once every month or so, you take that notebook and you go over all these little things that you wrote down, and you go, oh, wait a minute, I forgot that one. Oh, and I forgot that one. I can make this better, I can make that better. Always striving for success, always striving, always shooting what everybody says for the stars. Why not? If you wanna start competing, why not becoming a world champion? But you know, why not shooting for the stars? Because that gives you that extra motivation. Now, the last thing I'm gonna say is make sure you go slow, baby steps. Uh, Dwayne Ludwig, very good student of mine who created the Bang Ludwig uh, system, the striking system. He says, he says it's very simple. Fighting is not, it's not a race, it's a journey. So be on that journey, learn, write things down. Make sure that whatever they teach you, that you actually remember that the next day when you come back. I have shouting uh, incidents with my students because I would teach them, for instance, an armbar on Tuesday, and on Thursday when they would come back and I would go over that armbar again, they already lost it. And I go, are you, why are you paying tuition? Why are you coming here? I mean, I taught you for an hour and now you simply don't know what to do anymore. So make sure you guys are not students like that. Write it down, go over it in your head. One hour of training is not enough. If you want to be good at something, it has to be in your head 24 seven. I got, I got obsessed with it and that's the only way to get good. So get obsessed, but make sure that you love what you're doing because if you don't love it if you just want to do it because you want to say i do kung fu that's not really going to work you're not going to go really far but if you start loving it stamina and listening and logging and writing everything down you're going to be a phenomenal uh, student all right guys godspeed i wish you all the best osu that's uh, osu that's what they say in karate right oshi means push always pushing and uh, shinobu means to endure and they put that together and that's why it's osu osu i gotta go all right guys godspeed ni hao wait